Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Hey Calvary, it's Pastor Ruben from the Parker Campus, and here's your word for the day. As followers of Jesus Christ, we are for peace. And not like the world's idea of what peace is, but we are for Jesus, who is our Prince of Peace. Which means we are to live our lives peaceably with others by our actions and with our words, how we speak. But how do you continue to live peaceably with others and speak peace in a world that is hostile towards peace and hostile towards the things of God? When others are trying to discredit you by lies and slanders and all sorts of verbal attacks because you're for peace, you're for Jesus. In our psalm today, the psalmist is going through that exact thing. So let's see what we can learn. Uh, Psalms 120, starting at verse 1. Listen to what it says. It says, In my distress I called to the Lord, and He answered me. Deliver me, O Lord, from lying lips, from a deceitful tongue. What shall be given to you, and what more shall be done to you, you deceitful tongue? A warrior's sharp arrows with glowing coals of the broom tree. Woe to me that I sojourn in Meshech, that I dwell among the tents of Kedar. Too long have I had my dwelling among those who hate peace, but I am for peace. And when I speak, they are for war. So how do we continue to live peaceably with others and speak peace in a world that is hostile towards peace or even hates peace? By seeking peace, seeking Jesus. The psalmist said, in my distress, I called to the Lord and he answered me. You see, we seek peace by going to Jesus with our prayers, with our petitions, with our cries, with our distress, remembering that He has heard and answered prayers of past, how He has been with us through those valleys and will continue to walk with us today and forevermore. We seek peace knowing that the battle belongs to the Lord and that the battle has already been won in Christ Jesus. We seek peace by spending time in His Word so that we are reflecting His character more and more in our lives, remembering and applying Jesus' words in Matthew 5, 44. Now, let me read the New King James Version. It says this, Love your enemies. Bless those that curse you. Do good to those who hate you. And pray for those who spitefully use you and persecute you. Is it easy? To live peaceably and speak peace in a world that's hostile towards peace? No, it's not. This is why we need to seek Jesus. So that you don't take matters into your own hands, so to say, and start speaking like the world around us and end up losing your peace in the process. We know that this world is no longer our home. And we yearn to be with Jesus, our Prince of Peace. But until that day we are called, until that day we're called to be with Jesus, we are to be a people who are for peace, especially in a world that hates peace, so that we can be light and salt to those around us, so that one day you will be asked, how is it that you have such peace? Then you can tell them about Jesus, who is our peace. But the only way that we can be for peace, live peaceably with others, and speak peace, and never lose our peace, is when we seek the Prince of Peace, when we seek Jesus. God bless you and have a wonderful day today.